Good evening, guys. Welcome to the Arsenal Academy. We are thanks for watching our videos online. Please, if you haven't subscribed, please do press subscribe button and the social bell and also have an update on this YouTube channel. Thank you and God bless you. Today, I will consider what IDMB Chemistry Practical 2022. And based on what we are given this year, based on the what the reagent given to us this year, we are given what we are, we are provided with with 0.25 mole per dm cube of methanoic acid, which is a weak acid, methanoic acid, methanoic acid, methanoic acid, provided with what 0.25 mole per dm cube of methanoic acid. That's our A, that's our solution, what is A? So, which is 0.25 mole per dm cube of methanoic acid. And it's about what, 50 centimeter cube of what? Of the acid given to you. Now, you are going to be given of what? An acid of what? 0.25 mole per dm cube of methanoic acid, which is what? Which is about 50 centimeter cube. Meaning that your your acid is not enough to be prevented three times. So we need that what this is supposed to be in our bullet. So from that 50 centimeter cube given to us, it means that you cannot prepare this trans. So it is it is very sure that this is going to be in our house, in our bullet. So now we are given what? We are given what B as well, which is what? Which is our base, which is a strong base which is 0 0.15 mole per dm cube mole per dm cube of, of sodium hydroxide of what potassium hydroxide which is about what which is about about 100 centimeter cube you can pipette this one even using 25 centimeter cube of what pipette four times so we that this is going to our out to our chemical or chemical flash I don't pipette this so from even from this Reagent and condition for preparation for the reagent. We can, we, can, we can guess that this will be inside the correct and this will be inside what? Conical what? Conical flux. Then, another thing that you need to know that this is what? A reaction. We are also given what? We also given what? The provision for what? Phenophthalene and what? Phenophthalene. Phenophthalene and methyl orange indicator. But the most probable what? Probably the indicator that to use here is phenolphthalein. Why? Because phenolphthalein indicator is used when you are titrating between weak acid. That is the best word indicator for weak acid against strong word, strong base. So phenolphthalein is what is a very good indicator here. So these are the things that in my lecture it's going to be it's, it's going to be what the acid between weak acid and strong base. So phenolphthalein is what? Phenolphthalein is suitable for what? For the titration. So now these are the conditions that the apparatus or reagent provided for the what? For the titration experiment what? This year. And based on this now, I'm going to perform the experiment. And I'm going to be considering what? The two ways by which this question can work. Can be set this year, two ways by which this question can be set this year. So, and this is the first way we have it here. We have A. Solution A is a solution containing what? 2.875 grams of metanoic acid in 250 centimeter cube of solution. While solution B is a solution of unknown concentration of potassium hydroxide. Solution C is the phenolphthalein, which is an indicator. The equation for the action is what? Formic acid plus KOH to form what? Meta potassium metanoate. Potassium metanoate plus water. By the time of the of solution B into clean conical flask and add two drops of phenolphthalein indicator. From the bullet, run in solution A. From the, from the bullet, making sure adequate acid in the conical flask to permanent colorless endpoints. And record the title word value. So we are going to do that now. So we have our B and we have our word A. So we have to have pipette. We have to, so we have to pipette our B. So now I'm pipetting my B now. So this is B. And why I place my word, my, my phone here. So here, the first thing you need to do is to raise your word, your. 
open flux with what? With B to avoid any form of contamination and also release the word pipette with what? With the word with the with the word solution word B to avoid any form of contamination. Also raise this one with solution A and follow with all the solution A so as to ensure that everything is pure. So I've done that before I was starting this video. So you to ensure that you start what you do you do your own to carry out your own process of cleaning the what the apparatus given to you by the solution you are to use for that what apparatus for instance now conical flask is going into this post you are to raise it to what with solution B so that's that about that now let me just do it again for the sake of so so now you rinse it then you so this has been rinsed as well so now let me pipette it now So this is 25 centimeter key. So you pour inside the what the conical flux. Then after doing that, you add two drops of what of phenolphthalein. One, then two. So that's that. You can see the pink color, the pink color change here. So then you release this one. Then let me fill in what the solution A into the burette. So this is zero mark and zero mark exactly. So I will fill in this one now. Ensure that you have your words, your reading at the very course. So you can reduce it if it's too much. You can just so this at what zero exactly now. So now let's release this one. Ensure that this is tightly work and this is fair. So now let's release it now. And you shake thoroughly as you are doing it. So you are almost there. So you can see it is about what? 8 point what? This is when I look at it very well now. We have 8.8. We have 8.8. You have to look at it. The menu scores itself is on 8 point what? 8. So now, yes, our uh, table of reading now. The burette reading in CL cube, centimeter of cube. The first tie tag, the second tie tag, and the third tie tag. So, so now we have what? No. Red reading here, final red reading in centimeter cube as well. That was the initial red reading, initial red reading in centimeter cube as well. So then the volume of what of A used, the volume of A used. Now, here initially we have 8.80, here we have 0.0, .0 then 
This one is going to what? Eight. You know this one is zero point zero, and we have what? Eight point what? Eight zero. So that's that about what? About the first titration. Now let's throw this away now, and then carry out the second analysis. So you rinse. Make sure you rinse. So that uh, you have to rinse. You have to ensure that you don't have, you don't carry the what? The remnants in the first title to the second title. So now we carry out the same procedure now. Pipet. So this is exactly what? 20. 25 centimeter cube of what? B. So add what? Add two drop of what of one two. So now don't forget we are at what this is eight point eight. So our initial now will now be eight point eight zero now. So add what you now start adding now. As you are adding, you are shaking. So, this is seventeen point five. This is seventeen point five. This is seventeen point five. So, when you have seventeen point five here. This is 17.5. So 17.5 minus what? What do we have? When you minus 17.5 minus 8.80. Let me get my calculator. Okay. So 17.5 minus 8.80. We have 8. What? Very important. 8. Point eight eight point seven zero. So that is what fifteen point some something point five zero eight minus what eight point eight zero. It's going to be what eight point seven zero. So that's that that is value of that. So now if that be the case now, so what is the next thing to do? What is the next thing to do? We are going to what? We are going to what carry out the third title, which is the third analysis. So we also rinse with what? So this is exactly what? This is what? The what? So if I to that key, so you put it there, then add your what? Phenophthalene. Add your phenophthalene. Two drop. One. Two. So this is two drop now. So now where we are now, we have 17 points what? 17 points. 17 points what? 17, this one will have your initial 17.50 now. So you don't need to refill it again because we have enough what? We already know A that can carry out the third situation. So you just start to run now. So as you are running, you shake. So okay.
okay so here we have what we are I want to check it very well. This is twenty six point three what twenty six point three zero. So this twenty six point three zero. That twenty six point what twenty six point what three zero. So this is what eight point eight. You can see we have four quarter value here. So let me come on come. So we have for quantum value, so we have for quantum value, which is what? 8.80, 8.70, 8.80. 8 so all these values are very, very good for quantum. So 8.80, 8.70, 8.80. So ensure that we also have what for quantum value you are titrating. This is not what? This is not the acceptable word. Titan value for all centers. It might be different because of the variation in what in chemical reagent that might occur in your center. But mind you, ensure that we have a component value 8.80 difference of 0.1. So I can try to add everything together and divide by k, or I can decide to choose two depending on it. Since this thing is component, I can try to what to add it up in order to what use it for my my average titan. So let's go into the calculation and. The word, the work is there. We have done this now. We have what? We have carried the word, the titration now. We can decide to what? I want to use what? The first and the third title. I just want to use the word. The second one as well. The second one as well. As my rope. So this is. So to calculate my average what? volume of acid use now. Average volume of acid use. Average volume of what? Acid use. Or of A used. Of A used, or you can also say what average what average title what value average title value will be equal to what 8.8 .8, that is the second title. Let me use what the first, second, and the first and so let me use the second and third. So we have what 8.80 plus 8.80 divided by what 2. Please don't confuse yourself with that. Use the component value. Just know that the difference must not be 0 0.1. It must not be more than 0 0.1. So you can decide to use everything or you can decide to use what? 2. So now we have what? 8.8 divided by 8 by 2. We have what? 8.8 .8 centimeter what? Key for your volume of what? A use. Now with that now, with that now, we can now what? We can now under carry out our calculation. Calculate the what? The concentration of methanol acid in gram per DNK. Now to calculate the what? The concentration of of methanol acid in gram per per DNK. We are going to go that the what? Question solution: A contain two point eight seven five gram of methanol acid in two hundred fifty centimeter cube. So now. In order to calculate this now, you know that what? We are told that what? 8.2875 gram of methanoic acid. So we need that what? In 250 cm. So 250 cm of the solution. 250 So that is the eighth aspect of it. 250 cm. We are calculating the concentration of methanoic acid in gram per dm cube. So the 250 cm of solution contains what? Contains contains 2.875 gram of methanoic acid of methanoic acid. That's SCOOH. So now, so what we do next now is what? 100 cm cube now. That is in one in standard volume now, which is one as a turkey, we now contains contains what? 1000 times what? 2.875 all over what? All over 250 centimeter cube. So what we have now? So 1000 times 2.875 divided by 250. 
So this is eleven point what? Eleven point five gram in one dm what? The one dm key because this is one thousand seven hundred key. That's you have converted it. So this is what one dm key. So this is eleven point five gram per dm what key. So that's that. Now. Concentration of methanoic acid in more per dm cube. Concentration of methanoic acid of SCOOH in more per dm cube. Now, to calculate this one in more per dm cube, what we are going to use is what? Concentration of SCOOH in more per dm cube is equal to, we are looking for this now, is equal to what? Mass concentration. Of SCOOH over what? The molar mass. The molar mass of SCOOH. So this is what this one is going to do. We are going to do for the molar mass of what? Molar mass of molar mass of SCOOH, which is equal to what? Now look at this. We can combine this one together. This one can be written as what? We can write as H two C. O2. So which is what? 2 times 1. Energy is 1. Atomic mass of energy is 1. Plus 12 plus 2 into bracket what? 16. So we have 2 plus 12 plus this is 32. When you add together, this will give you 46 grams per mole. So that's that about what? That. So with that now, we can easily calculate our what? Concentration of what? Concentration of SCOOH in more per dm cube now. We have equal to 11.2, okay, 11.5 divided by what? 11.5 divided by 46. So where do we have? 11.5 divided by 46. We have what? 0.25, which is the same thing as what we have been given. More per what? DM Q. So that is 11, 0.25 more per DM Q. That is that about question number what? Question B. Question of the time that we more per DM Q. So, so another question asks us is what? The concentration of the number of moles of methanol acid. In each titration, in each titration, the number of moles of butanic acid in each titration. Now, we are putting our moles to be zero, our concentration of what? SCOOH is what? 0 0.25 mole per dm cube. So, here now, I do not get the number of moles of butanic acid used in each titration. What we have to do is what? Is this. Now, you say that what? For every 1,000 centimeter cube, for every 1,000 centimeter cube, we have what? For every 1,000 centimeter cube of solution, we have, for every 1,000 centimeter cube of solution, contains 0.25 volts, moles. So, now, an volume of A used for each titration is what? 8.80 centimeter cube of solution now is used for the titration. So it now contains what? We contains we contains so what it contains? 8.80 times 0.25 all over what? 1000. So that's our so as I calculate our number of moles of titration. So 8.8 Zero times zero point two five divided by what? One thousand. We have what? Zero point zero zero two two. That is one two three. So that is that moles. So after writing this down, we have to calculate what the concentration of what potassium hydroxide in mole per dmk. Now. You write what? From the equation of the reaction now, we have what? Question of reaction, we have what? COOH plus KOH to give us what? Potassium methanoate plus water. 
Now, what we can get from this equation of reaction is that what? We have we have one ratio what? One. We have one ratio one of what? Of of formic acid with what? With potassium hydroxide. Meaning that what? One mole of um, HCOOH we add with what? One mole of KOH. So we need that what? Is zero point zero what? Two two moles. React with what? Zero point zero two moles of what? KOH of KOH. So therefore, the most of what? Of KOH. The most of KOH is what? Zero point zero two two. In each titration, in each titration, 0 0.022 moles. So now, if that is the case now, you can do the calculation to get the what? To get the concentration now. The concentration of KOH in more per GMP will have what? Mole over what? Volume of, of KOH pipetted. Pipetted. So, now this one will have what? 0 0.0022 all over what? Now we have the what? 25 centimeter cubes, which is equal as what? 25 centimeter cube divided by 1000. Don't forget that to leave it in dm cube. So 25, the one of each by each kilo by pentel is 20, 25. Now divided by 1000, it's going to give us 0 0.0022 all over 0 0.0. 0.025. So by the value of what will you get? What will you get? 0 0.0022 divided by 0 0.025. So we are at what? 0 0.0, 0 0.088, which is equal to 0.1. Move power, move per DMQ. So that is that about the first way of setting all these questions. So as you can see that this is our first questions under under titration for IDMB chemistry world practical. Another way that the question can be set. So it should be containing 2.1 gram of potassium hydroxide in 250 centimeter volt Q. Now so we shall get the solution of unknown concentration of methanol in what? As in. Now, we are looking at the solution C, which is the word, the phenolphthalein indicator. Now, and the equation of the action goes to us. The question is only what is it, but now we are given what solution B containing what? 2.1 gram of potassium and acid, 250 centimeter cube. And then the A is unknown. So the same question, the same. Table of values, and here you must write what the volume of the pipette used, the volume of pipette what used for titration, the volume of pipette used is equal to what 25 centimeter what cube. So now, so now we have to carry out the same analysis, we are going to do the same average title value. Now we have now calculate now, calculate the concentration of potassium hydroxide in gram per dm cube. So the only thing that changes here is the word is that instead of calculating the concentration of what of metanoic acid in gram per dmq, we have potassium hydroxide in gram per dmq and potassium hydroxide in mole per dmq, potassium hydroxide used in what in each titration and concentration of metanoic acid in what mole per dmq. So let's quickly go to this. Now the first thing to calculate the concentration of potassium hydroxide in gram per dmq. So the same thing concentration of potassium hydroxide in gram per dm cube now. So we know that what? 22.5 centimeter cube of solution B contains 2.1 gram of potassium hydroxide. So 20 centimeter cube of solution what? B contains what? Contains 2.1 gram of what? Of KOH. So now, in that be the case now, all about 1,000 centimeter cube because we are looking for what? How many grams in 1,000 of solution B? So, 1,000 
graph of a solution B now we contain we contain one thousand times two point one one thousand times two point one all over what two fifty so when you look at this what will you do that so one thousand times two point one divided by two fifty we have 8.4 gram in 1D in what? In 1 dm kilo. So that is 8.4 gram per dm kilo. So the concentration now of potassium hydroxide in mole per dm kilo. Concentration of potassium hydroxide in mole per dm kilo. So how do you go about that? So to calculate the concentration of potassium in mole per dm kilo, potassium hydroxide in mole per dm kilo, this was mass. Concentration of potassium hydroxide all over molar mass of potassium hydroxide. So we have what? So what we have here? We have we have mass of KOH, mass, molar mass of KOH. So molar mass of KOH is equal to what? Molar mass of KOH is equal to 39 plus oxygen is one, hydrogen is what? Hydrogen is oxygen, sorry, oxygen is 16, hydrogen is 1. So when you add them together, what do you have? 39 plus 16 plus 1. So we have 56 gram per mole. Per mole. So we are putting the molar mass of KOH. So let's go back to the formula. So concentration of KOH in mole per dm cube now. Will be equal to concentration of KOH in mole per dm be equal to what? Mass concentration, which is what? Mass concentration, which is 8.4 8.4 all over 56. So 8.4 over 56 is what? Well, 56 is 0 0.15 mole per dm cube. So that's that about that. Now, we have asked the number of moles of potassium used in each titration. So, if 1000 centimeter cube, which is, this is, this is 0 0.15 moles in 1000 cm cube. So, what I'm going to just do is say that, okay, if 1000 centimeter cube or what, of solution what, B contains what? Contains 0 0.15. So what if we by 25 out of it? So 25 centimeter cube now of solution being used in each titration now will contain what? It contains 25 times 0 0.15 divided by 1000. So 25 times what? 0 0.15 divided by 1000. So 25 times 0 0.15 divided by 1000, 0 0.0375. So one, two, three. So most. So 25 times 0 0.15 divided by 1000, 000. so we have one, two, three. So that's that. A most. So we learned that about the number of moles in potassium hydroxide hypothetic. So now the concentration of metamic acid in mole per dm cube. So what we are going to do is to write the equation of reaction as what the, to calculate the concentration of metamic acid HCOOH. So in mole per dm cube. So what we are going to do is what is to write the equation of reaction COOH plus what plus KOH to give what? Metanoid, potassium metanoid, potassium metanoid plus water. The mole ratio is 1 1. So if 1 moles of HCOOH produces what? 1 mole of what? Or react with 1 mole of what? KOH. React with 1 mole of KOH. Then we use the reactive 
one mole of KOH. So 0.00375 moles. Also, we, we re also react with 0.00375 moles. So now with this now, you can now with this you can now calculate the molar pump of this. So the molar pump of of KOH or what of methanoic acid now, please do of methanoic acid, that's the molar pump, the constitution in mole by DMQ. We now have what? Mole all over what? Volume. Volume. Now all over volume now, which is same, this is same as volume of what? Volume of A used. So now the mole is 0 0.0375 all over the volume of acid we get here is 8.80 divided by 1000. So we have what? 0 0.00375 divided by 0 0.00. We take this one, 1, 2, 3, 0, 0. It's eight. So what do you get now? Zero point zero zero three seven five divided by zero point zero zero eight eight. So we have zero point four two more per dm. So that's that about that. Come to the end of today's class. If this video has helped you, remember to press the like button and notification bell. That's all our videos online. See you next time.